Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Your Royal Highnesses, Your Honours, Mr. Speaker, colleagues in the Legislative Assembly, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, welcome to the Saskatchewan uh, Legislative Building. Uh, we've worked hard, Your Highnesses, to try to provide, knowing you've been away for, from home for a while, to provide some appropriate weather this morning. <laughs> We're very, very grateful uh, that you're here. Today, we'll offer some very special moments in the life of a province. Keen reminders of our rich heritage and clarion calls to a bright future. And the renewing of our relationship with the Crown. A relationship that is older than the province itself. A relationship that is older than this building where we are met, whose cornerstone, by the way, was laid in the presence of Prince Arthur, Duke of Connaught, who is godfather to our Queen. Your Royal Highness, sir, we welcome you back to, these cha to this chamber, back to our province. We have fond memories of your last visit, your interest in and connection with our people and our places. We were honoured when our First Nations were willing and able and generous to give you a Cree name. The sun watches over him in a good way. It is our hope that the providential sentiment in this your First Nations name has been borne out to be true in the intervening years since your last visit. Your Royal Highness, ma'am, welcome to Saskatchewan for this your first official visit. I imagine you have received a lot of official briefings about the province of Saskatchewan. I'm sure most of it's true. <laughs> Permit me, though, to provide you some unofficial information on the province of Saskatchewan. Our official motto is Multis Egentibus Vires, from many people's strength. Our unofficial motto is Saskatchewan. Hard to spell, but easy to draw. <laughs> our official animal is the white-tailed deer. Our official bird is the sharp-tailed grouse. But our unofficial creature is the mosquito. <laughs> we, we have a few of them, but Manitoba has more. <laughs> our official seasons are fall and winter and spring and summer. Our unofficial seasons are five. They are almost winter, winter, still winter, the NHL playoff, and uh, construction season. <laughs> We are formally and officially known as a prodigious producer of food and of home to great natural resource wealth. But more importantly and more informally, we are known for our greatest resource of all, and that is our people, their wisdom and their wit and their compassion, their strength and their vision. And that, Your Highnesses, is the perfect segue to introduce you to some of our most precious resources that are met with us here today. Sitting in the galleries on either side are recipients of the 2012 Prince of Wales Scholarship. The scholarship was established in 2001 during His Royal Highness's last visit to the province. The scholarship has helped so many students from communities across our province pursue their dreams. And I want to thank the students for being with us here today. Today we will also recognize six deserving individuals with the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal who represent so many other deserving souls who have also been presented with that medal. These are six who exemplify service to others through their actions and through their generosity. Six individuals who have made their world and our world, quite literally, a better place. Representing the best among us, we have those who have contributed greatly to the arts, those who have given very generously in philanthropic endeavors, those who have quite literally built communities, those who have been art supporters of the monarchy at a relatively young age, and if I may, in the person of Mr. Hewitt Mar Birch, those who on D-Day were prepared to give the last full measure of devotion to freedom for freedom's champion on that day, king and for country. There are two other important reasons we are here today. One is to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the reign of Her Majesty the Queen and the 100th anniversary of this venerable building. In Queen Elizabeth, we see someone whose indomitable spirit and character exemplifies in every 
commendable way, the gift of public service. So much change has taken place in our world, in the Commonwealth, over those six decades. But her positive example and her leadership and her grace endures. Enduring, too, is this magnificent building, the sturdy symbol of a system of government that has served us well through the years. Queen Elizabeth and Your Highnesses, through your actions and words, you remind us that we have a duty to serve our community, that we are part of something bigger. And so, I'm pleased to announce that in honor of your visit in this Jubilee year, and in recognition of the first visit of Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cornwall, the government will rename the Prince of Wales Scholarship to be known as the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall Scholarship. The government will double the number of recipients for the scholarship from 10 to 20. The government is also pleased to announce that in this Jubilee year, a new scholarship has been created, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Scholarship. Six scholarships in the amount of $1,000 each will be provided to students attending community high schools in pursuit of their dreams. Your Highnesses, on behalf of the people of this province, it is uh, just a distinct pleasure and a humbling uh, pleasure to welcome you to the Queen City, to our capital city, to welcome you to the province of Saskatchewan, to the legislative building here in Regina. Enjoy your stay. God save the Queen.